Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, ako po si Jules Gia. Welcome to another week of competition here on K-Check. At dahil malapit na pong matapos ang journey ng ating mga contestants, malapit na rin nating malaman kung sino sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Gwen. Gwen is an electrical engineering student of Iris. Dancing and listening to music are her hobbies. She enjoys listening to P-pop artists SB19 and Beanie. Sunod naman, we have Trish. Trish is a BS Business Economics student from UP Diliman who loves K-pop and P-pop music. She cannot sleep without music playing in her ears. Next, we have Tupe. Tupe is a proud waray hailing from Northern Samar. He is currently a fourth-year student of UP Diliman studying secondary education, specializing in social studies. He loves watching Marvel movies and K-drama, and he's passionate about memes and engaging in discussions about politics and social issues. And finally, we have Alisa. Alisa is a theater art student from UP Diliman. She likes K-pop, especially BTS and Seventeen, and she watches anime movies and series. Her hobbies are watching movies, dancing, and taking photos. One random thing about Alisa is that most of the time, she finds missing things. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Get ready to buzz in dahil ang goal nyo is to get that early lead. Let's begin! This is round 1. Question number 1. In K-pop, what song by Les Seraphim is their first entry on the US Billboard Hot 100 and has a one-word title that means not difficult? Alisa. Anti-fragile. Anti-fragile is wrong. Anyone can steal? When? Fearless. Fearless. Fearless is wrong. Only Trish and Tupe can answer. Trish. Smart. Smart is wrong. Tupe, can you guess? Tupe. <laughs> ah. Okay, the correct answer is easy. Question number two. In what language does the spelled out form of RSVP come from? Tupe. French. French is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What Chinese city has a name that means upon the sea and has the largest population in China? Tupe. Beijing. Beijing is wrong. Anyone can see it. The correct answer is Shanghai. Question number four. What animals of the genus Felis can form a group called a pride? When? Wolf. Wolf is wrong. The correct answer is lions. Question number five. In elementary math, what number is 200% of 65? This. 130. 130. 130 is correct. K-check. Okay, Question number six. According to a 1957 children's book by Dr. Seuss, which cranky creature tried to steal Christmas from residents of Whoville? Tupe. Grinch. Grinch is correct. K-check. Okay, Question number seven. The 1995 film Babe tells the story of what kind of animal? Alisa. Pig. 
Okay, let me proceed. What kind of animal that was good in herding sheep? You said pig. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. According to today.com, the healthiest cheese is a common soft variety that is readily available in supermarkets. What is this low-fat cheese that has a small house in its name? Pupe. Parmesan. Parmesan is wrong. Alisa. Blue cheese. Blue cheese is wrong. When or Trish, you can still answer. The correct answer is cottage cheese. In my house, in, in the name. Question number nine. In tennis, what surface is the French Open played on? The correct answer is clay. Question number 10. The filming of the seventh movie of the Jurassic Park franchise took place in Krabi Phuket and Trang as well as others. In what Southeast Asian country can you find these beaches? Tupe. Thailand. Thailand is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. How many decades are there in 10 centuries? One, uh, 100. 100 is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. In June 2024, scientists revealed that they have discovered the first non-human animals to give names to each other. What is this large intelligent animal that can be found in African savannas? Tupe. Elephant. Elephant is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. And that's it for our first round. So after that round, we have Tupe in the lead with 40 points, followed by Trish with 20 points, Alisa with 10 points, and Gwen, pwede ka bang humabol sa susunod nating rounds. Contestants dito sa ating show, meron tayong segment na mas kinikilala natin, ang background ninyo. At ito ang kay Chica. Simulan natin kay Gwen. So Gwen, nakakatawa at nakaka-proud na nababanggit na ang P-pop bilang favorite ng ating mga contestant. So bukod sa K-pop at J-pop, can you tell us more about what makes P-pop stand out for you? Ang pinaka nagustuhan ko sa mga P-pop idols is bukod sa talented sila is so katulad ng SB19, mga self-produced sila. Sila yung gumagawa ng sarili nilang kanta, ng sarili nilang choreography, tsaka sila rin yung nagda-direct mismo ng mga music videos na ginagawa nila. So I bet na panood ka na ilang beses ng mga concerts nila? Mga online concerts lang. Nine concerts? Wow. Thank you so much, Gwen. At salamat sa pagsuporta sa P-POP. Sunod naman si Trish. So si Trish, sabi mo, hindi ka nakakatulog kapag wala kang naririnig na music. So hindi ka naman ba automatic na inaantok or nakakatulog pag, pag nakakarinig ka na ng mga music na to? Hindi naman po. Par Yung music lang po, para lang po, hindi po ako mag, ano, um, bangungutin. Kasi palagi akong binabangungot. So, pag may nagpa-play na music, parang may wave sa, ano, sa mind ko na hindi ako mafo-fall into masyadong deep sleep na mag, ano, ako, yung, yung hindi makakagalaw sa tulog. Yes, yes. Anong kasi music bang binapakinggan mo? Usually, mga, ano lang po piano na ano, pag natutulog. So, mas nare-relax yung isip mo. Okay. Very interesting. Maraming salamat, Gwen and Trish. Pero mamaya ay tutuloy natin yung kwentuhan kasama naman si Natupe at Alisa. But first, maghanda na tayo for round 2 dahil susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back, everyone. Reminder lang sa ating points. Si Tupe ay in the lead with 40 points, followed by Trish with 20 points, Alisa with 10 points, at si Gwen naman pwede pang humabol sa ating susunod na round. Dito na tayo sa ating second part ng Kay Chica. Si Tupe naman ako usapin natin ngayon. Tupe, hello sa'yo. Ano ang favorite mong meme? And anong social issues yung favorite topic na of discussion mo recently? 
Meme muna. Uh, meme, ano, uh, palaging political memes kasi hindi ko alam, nakakatawa siya. Tapos, uh, minsan kahit nakakatawa siya, pwede ka rin mag-engage ito something. Mm -hmm. so, Meron ka bang pinapalo na artist? na bihasa dito sa mga memes na political ang... Yung magaling sa cartoon, pero hindi ko pwede banggitin yung name niya. Pero okay. yung last name ay Kalbo. So, yes, yes, kilala so, ka yan. sa Facebook. Uh, ano namang social issue recently or political issue yung pinaka pinag-uusapan uh, mo? Social recently? issue, uh, may gusto daw kasing ano, may chika daw, gusto daw nilang mag-senador, lahat sila sa buong pamilya nila. So, ayun yung recent na maganda pag-usapan. Hmm. Gusto mag-reunion sa 2020. Gusto <laughs> mag-reunion. Salamat, Tope. Patuloy mo yan at syempre nakakatawa naman na may memes din para mas ma-engage lahat ng iba't ibang natin mga kababayan sa mga social issues. Salamat, Tope. Ngayon naman si Alisa. So, Alisa, paano mo naman na-discovery at na-develop ang skill mo on finding missing things? Uh, actually, random lang siya. Parang pagka may hinahanap sa bahay or sometimes sa school, uh, Alisa, pahan naman ng ganito. And random din nahahanap ko siya. Like, di nila nahahanap, pero nahahanap ko. So, I think it's a magic thing na hanggang ngayon, nadadala ko siya kahit sa school. So, kahit sa siguro, school ikaw rin. Yes. Consistent. Siguro mabusisi lang talaga. Ayun, ayun po. Salamat, Alisa. Kung may nawawala kayo dito sa set, ha? Alam niyo na kung sinong tatawagan ninyo. Salamat, Tupe and Alisa. And now, it's time for round two. Sa round na ito, may counting strategy ang kailangan ma-involve. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. In what city in Metro Manila was the new Bilibid prison established in 1941? Muntin Lupa. Lupa is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. According to poet Thomas Haynes Bailey, what makes the heart grow fonder? Correct answer is absence. Pero wag kayo mag-absent lagi sa school. Question number three. What 2024 song by Beanie about going to an island Spawn, Alisa. Pantropico. Let me proceed. Spawned a dance challenge that was participated in by more than 1 million users. You said Pantropico. That is correct. Okay, check. Sample muna. <laughs> Ginawa nga niya. Okay, question number four. In May 2024, Sherpa guide Kamirita established a new record by climbing which mountain for the 30th time? The correct answer is Everest. Question number five. In Asian history, what decades-long war ended in 1975 with the fall of Saigon? Tope. Vietnam War. Vietnam War is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Popularized by rapper Drake, YOLO is the title of his mixtape that was released in 2011. What does YOLO stand for? Tupe. You only live once. You only live once is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What root crop is an important ingredient of Colcanon, Spanish omelette, hash browns, and french fries? Alisa. Potato. Potato is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In April 2024, the Netherlands was worried that climate change was going to ruin the blooming of which flower that the country is famous for? Okay. Tulips. Tulips is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What metallic element is usually combined with tin to make bronze? The correct answer is copper. Question number 10. What is the common name of the disease caused by the H5N1 avian influenza virus? The correct answer is bird flu. Question number 11. 
what TV game show has a contestant hoping to choose a case with a big amount of money out of 26 choices? Alisa. Deal or no deal? Deal or no deal is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. Which team defeated Chocomucho in the finals to win the 2024 PVL All Filipino Conference? The correct answer is Creamline. And that ends round number two. After that round, let's do a scores recap. Tope is still in the lead with 100 points, followed by Alisa with 70 points, and then Trish with 40 points, and Gwen, meron pa tayong isang round para makahabul ka. Up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check! And let's do another points recap. Tupe is in the lead with 100 points, followed by Alisa with 70 points, Trish with 40 points, and Gwen, pwede pang humabol. Dahil in the lead man, si Tupe, ay meron pa rin chance makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Contestants, for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Good luck, everyone. Let's begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Question number one. Science. Greenhouse gases are naturally occurring but human activities also produce these gases. In recent decades, we have seen an increase in greenhouse gases, increasing the greenhouse effect and global warming. What is the largest man-made contributor to greenhouse gases? A. Agriculture B. Transportation C. Industry D. Livestock farming or E. Deforestation. C. Industry. Ang pinakamalaking component ng greenhouse gases ay carbon dioxide, which is produced um, from burning fossil fuels, so from manufacturing, power generation, and chemical production. So, industry is the largest man made source of greenhouse gases. Okay, check. Thank you so much. Prof. Neil, next question. He wrote the seminal work on the Hook Rebellion, a major peasant uprising in central Luzon that happened during the Third Republic. A. Renato Constantino, B. Rinaldo Eleto, C. Benedict Curviet, D. Alfred McCoy, E. Jaime Veneracion. E. Jaime Veneracion. Mali. Anyone can steal. Tupi. Reynaldo Ileto. Mali. Only Gwen or Alisa can still answer. Okay. Kasulukuyang Emeritus Professor Ang tamang sagot sa Australian National University at matagal na nagturo ng political science at Southeast Asian Studies sa University of Hawaii. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Benedict Curlfiet. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Inali metanghere, Crisostomo Ibarra's full name is Juan Crisostomo Ibarra I. Magsalin. His great-grandfather was a Spaniard who married a Filipina mestiza. What was Crisostomo's great-grandfather's name? A. Jose Echevarria B. Pedro A. Baramendia C. Saturnino A. Baramendia D. Rafael Ibarra E. Pedro Isagire Okay. 
um, all these names are of Basque origin, no? So they all come from the nor from northern Spain. No? Um, Abaramendia, no? Pedro was the great grandfather. Saturnino was the grandfather, and Rafael was Chrysostomo's father. Okay, so the correct answer is Pedro of Abaramendia. Thank you so much. Now we're off to our second round. Prof. Marian, go ahead. Parang di ko ata alam talaga yon. Okay. Simple physics. A simple machine is a mechanical device that changes the direction or magnitude of a force. Which of the following is not a simple machine as first defined by Renaissance scientists? A. Lever. B. Wedge C. Screw D. Wheel and Axle or E. Scissor So a simple machine is the simplest mechanism that uses mechanical advantage to multiply force so, lahat yun, lever, wedge, screw, wheel, and axle ay nakaka-increase ng force. Ang gunting or scissor, hindi. So, the correct answer is E, scissor. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question, please. Parang kinakabahan yung mga contestants natin. This workers' group formed in 1950 led to the proliferation of moderate labor organizations that challenged the militant class-oriented labor groups identified with the communist movement. A. Alliance of Filipino Workers B. Alliance of Free Workers C. Federation of Filipino Workers D. Federation of Free Workers E, samahan ng mga manggagawa ng Pilipinas. Noong 2022 sen uh, elections, may tumakbong pagkasenador ang pangalan ni Sani Matula. Siya ang kasulukuyang national president ng samahang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Federation of Free Workers. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question. Thank you. Um, starting out as a graffiti artist in the 1980s, this American artist went on to create a visual vocabulary of cartoon-like figures in a style that is easily recognizable today. He died of AIDS-related complications in 1990. What is the artist's name? A. Freddie Mercury B. Keith Haring C. Andy Warhol D. Rock Hudson E. Robert Mapplethorpe I'm so sure that you have seen this artist's works no, around he does yung uh, cartoon-like figures. No? Um, his work has appeared in apparel by Adidas, Lacoste, Uniqlo. Um, and his name is Keith Haring. Oh, Keith Haring. Remember that. Thank you so much, Prof. Sophie. So, we are halfway done. So, let's do a scores recap para alam nyo kung ang status ang inyong mga scores. Si Tupe pa rin ang nangunguna with 85 points, followed by Alisa with 70 points, si Trish with 55 points, at si Gwen. Kailangan mong humabol sa last two rounds natin kasi meron pa tayong 180 points na pwede niyong pag-agawan. Simulan na natin ang last half. Prof. Marian. Ayaw niyo mag-agawan yata, no? <laughs> uh, playing safe si lahat. Okay, math naman. A box contains... Five red balls, three blue balls, and two white balls. 
If a ball is picked randomly from the box, what is the probability that it is not blue? A. One fifth. B. Three over ten. C. One half. D. Seven over ten. D. D. Seven over ten. So the total number of balls is ten. Five red, three blue, two white balls. So. There are 5 plus 2 or 7 non-blue balls. So the correct answer is D, 7 over 10. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. Masaya na si Ma Marian. Sana maging masaya ako na may makakasagot sa aking pangatlong tanong. This presidency forged stronger economic ties with China. But it was hounded by a series of corruption scandals involving Chinese companies in the early 2000s. A. Benigno Aquino III B. Rodrigo Duterte C. Joseph Estrada B. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo C. Joseph Estrada Mali, tatapusin ko lang yung huling option E. Fidel Ramos pinakamalaking scandal ay yung CTE scandal. I don't know kung ilang taong kayo noon nung panahon ng presidente itong pangalawang presidenteng babae ng bansa. Hinarap din niya ang mga problema tulad ng Hello Garcia scandal at Oakwood Mutiny. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. Um, in Philippine film history, there are considered two golden ages. The first golden age was in the 1950s with the rise of big production studios. The second golden age was the active period of filmmakers such as Lino Broca, Ismael Bernal, and Mike, Be Mike De Leon. Which of these films was not directed by Mike De Leon? A. Batch 81 B. Bayaning Third World C. Itim D. Ora Pronobis E. Kung Mangarap Kat Magising <clears throat> You should watch more movies No, old movies Okay, so Ora Pronobis is the only film on the list that's not by Mike De Leon. Ora Pro Nobis was by Lino Broca from 1989. Okay, so. Thank you so much. Now we're off to our last round. Okay, very quick lang. Si Tupe, 85. Si Trish at si Elisa, 70 points. At si Gwen, wala pang score. So, last round, 90 points ang pwede nyo makuha dito. Prof. Marian. Uy, naka 2 out of 4 na ako. Oh. Go for gold, okay. We use sunblock to protect ourselves from the UV rays emitted by the sun. Electromagnetic radiation consists of electromagnetic waves which vary in wavelengths. Which of the following is the most penetrating? A. Microwave B. Infrared C. Radio wave D. Ultraviolet or E. X-ray X-ray Okay, so a range from longest to shortest wavelength, we have radio wave and then microwave, infrared, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma. The more penetrating, the more damaging for humans. The shorter the wavelength, the more penetrating. So, X-ray is the most penetrating among the given choices. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Kaya pang humabol na Gwen. Kapag masagot mo tala, ikaw Yung mananali. huling dalawang tanong. <laughs> yeah. He served as Prime Minister of Japan for nearly nine years in the 21st 
century and implemented a plan of military expansion in the midst of China's aggressive activities in the Pacific. A. Abe Shinzo. A. Abe Shinzo. Yeah, ang bilis. Social studies major. Dapat updated sa current events. Okay, siya rin ang pinakamatagal na Prime Minister sa kasaysayan ng Japan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Abe Shinzo. Okay, check. Nagpapasalamat ko ito. Okay. Akala ko, zero ako ngayon. <laughs> ang tanong si Prof. Sophie kaya makaka-score <laughs> sa araw na to. Go ahead po for the last question. Sana hindi ako zero. <laughs> Alright. Okay. A musical instrument played by the Tiboli is a wooden lute with a long neck and two strings. One string is used as a drone while the other is for the melodic ornamentation. It can be played while dancing and singing. What is this instrument called? A. Hegelung B. Kutyapi C. Banduria D. Octavina E. Sitar E. Sitar Mali po. B. Kutiapi Mali, mali rin. Treasure Gwen, you can still answer. Zero okay. kayo ngayon. Prof. So, zero ako today. <laughs> Ang tamang sagot ay Hegalong. Okay. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Kupe, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 100 points. That's the best. Thank you. So we'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks to Gwen, Trish, and Alisa for joining. Palapakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophie. Once again, I am Jules Giang. Please join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.